Today is January 14, 2020, and today marks the end of support deadline for Windows 7. So which means that Microsoft will no longer be releasing any more updates after today. And so, I wanted to make this showcase video of the OS to commemorate it. So, let's get started. So, the start menu got a slight revamp, but now with the power buttons option by default being simply shut down. But with other options are still there in a menu and can also be adjusted as well. But not two options like Vista and it is also a clone of the Vista start menu. And if you don't like the start menu in Windows 8 or 10, a lot of people still use this classic start menu with different pieces of software like classic shell and starts back for example. The file explorer is now it is updated with now the same look as in the modern versions of Windows, but in later versions have the added the ribbon UI to it. Libraries was new and users can also add their own content to libraries. Windows 7's file explorer was amazing on how easier we browsed our files in it. Now one thing I liked about Windows 7 which was carried over from Vista as well, and that is Arrow. Now a lot of people don't use Arrow anymore because it's not included with the new operating systems, but on Windows 7 and Vista, Arrow is just the nicest thing to me and although I wish I had it on my main computer, but I am sticking with the normal solid title bars in Windows 10. Windows 7 also brought an update to Windows Media Player and even as well to Windows Media Center for example. It also added in useful ways to use the OS such as snapping two windows side by side, shaking, win shaking a window to minimize all other windows, and full screen a window by dragging it to the top. Users can also now adjust their UAC or user account control function to whatever they like to now. And even PowerShell was introduced. Flip 3D was also another feature that was carried over from Windows Vista, but nothing was changed with this one. The taskbar got a massive revamp with now the icons for that specific running program being combined into one much more like a mac os and live preview thumbnails was also added and yet i meant updated by the way were more were more functionality was added to it and even the jump list was added in as well you can also now preview the entire desktop from the taskbar as well and notification icons have also been improved like for example adjusting settings to them now one thing that wasn't popular and had minor changes in windows 7 from vista was the gadgets now whether you find it really useful or annoying gadgets were an amazing thing to have which something i missed in windows 10 and they were not constrained to this to a sidebar so users can freely move them around wherever they want to. It included a clock, a CPU meter, calendar, weather, I don't think that yeah, it actually doesn't work anymore as I looked up. And that little puzzle game that which nobody can figure out. Now there was a gadget store that allowed you to add more to your gallery. Unfortunately, that shut down on the release of Windows 8 due to security reasons. The sidebar had access to com had access to common tasks and locations and apps like the control panel for example it was also there in Windows 7 by the way also Microsoft included interesting themes in the OS with matching OS sounds to go with them and, at, and the action center was new to, to the operating system to warn people in regards to their PC security for example it will alert you if you have no security software installed onto your computer. As far as any support goes, Microsoft is now retiring support for the OS as of today and no more updates will be released for it, leaving every computer running Windows 7 exposed to dangerous attacks patchless. But there is an option to pay for 3 more years of support 
but unfortunately it's only for those who are running Windows 7 Pro and or Enterprise. So I would consider upgrading if I were you. And that's pretty much about it for this end of support video. Thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, follow my social media accounts, and we are now officially saying goodbye to Windows 7, and yeah, that's pretty much it, goodbye for now.